Well, we made it to our destination in Hoover, Alabama, but as soon as we got here, we ran into a little bit of an issue. where there's a museum that we're wandering through, learning a bit about Birmingham. We've learned that Birmingham is the Pittsburgh of the South because of all the steel manufacturing it had. It was a company town that grew up uh, because of the steel and the steel manufacturing. And here we are uh, about to visit the, uh, we got a little model of the little semi-naked guy that sits atop this hill. Vulcan. Vulcan, Mr. Vulcan. And we're checking a look at the museum. I guess this is his foot. Vulcan is the Roman god of the forge. After being thrown down from Mount Olympus by his parents, he set up a massive workshop under volcanic Mount Etna. Cool. We're way he, up here. Yeah, we once again find ourselves on uh, great that we can see through. Tom's favorite. There's the city of Birmingham. <laughs> so, he's kind of exposed and we've been told that some of the communities that way <laughs> actually have sued. Because they're not <laughs> so they don't happy like... about the buns facing them. They were like, why is the butt facing us? It's kind of funny though. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our map of Birmingham. Oh, that's it. We're here at the Sloth's Furnace. Sloth, yeah. Sloth. Sloth. We're, we're here at the Sloth's Furnace in Birmingham, Alabama, seeing some more of the history. It's a national historic site it's completely free and you can walk right through the old furnace it's really really awesome blast furnaces need fans and these are massive steam driven fans we turn these huge 20 foot flywheels to create the high pressure required to run the furnace tom's geeking out on this old technology Doesn't work. About to go for a golf cart ride. We're getting a tour of the local area via golf cart. Taking us off roading. <laughs> Made it to the hidden lake. Kind of. There's houses and stuff all around it, but we found the back way. Now there's a rig. 45 footer, probably. So we've got a fun project today, and since we have access to a hose and there are no campground rules here for not washing our RV, we are taking the opportunity to do just that. Hi, Tom. Hi. We've got all this mold coming off over here. We're also going to wax her with floor wax. Zep floor wax, because that's, oh, I spilled all my soap. Because that's supposedly the best thing you can put on this old fiberglass units that are kind of losing their shine. Alright, there we go. She's all clean and shiny. No more mold. 
Caitlin did most of the hard work scrubbing the top. It's not easy to clean something this tall. This is high traffic floor finish. It'll actually create a new clear coat on the RV since we kind of completely lost it on our old fiberglass rig. So we're going to try a couple thin coats of this to see if we can get it to shine again. Where'd you get it? Home Depot. 16 bucks. One guy said he put this stuff on and it lasted for four years. Shiny as new. It's getting shiny. We've pretty much determined that kind of the best way is just to sort of paint it on really, really slowly so you don't get any uh, bubbles or drips or anything. So we're back on the road again and fingers crossed everything is fixed and we're just about to make our exit to head toward Atlanta. Hey, 